day four has come and gone and it was a very busy day. There was lots going on today. Uh, it was the start of our presentations that our classmates were giving today and I didn't have one today but uh, there was four, five, six people I guess were the brave souls that got to be the first in our class to get up in front of everyone and do their presentations and there were some individual presentations about uh, different technologies and then there was also a group presentation about uh, some of the readings that we have. So both of our cor courses have been pretty good about splitting the work up among projects and papers and uh, blogging, that sort of thing, as well as doing actual presentations. And as one of our profs pointed out today, you know, if we are going to be going into IT leadership, presentations is going to be part of the job, whether it's presenting to school boards or trustees or principals or at budget meetings, that sort of thing, uh, present presenting is going to be part of our job, absolutely. We're all familiar with that, uh, being teachers. Even in my role, I do uh, presentations with other teachers or with staffs as well, but um, it, it's different. It's different in, in this context, so I think it's going to be really good having this sort of experience. Now, I have been trying my best to eat properly and to drink lots of water and plenty of fluids and to take regular kind of breaks during the day and it's actually been really nice having a lunch break and I actually do take a lunch break uh, the last week that I've been here and make sure I get a little bit of time away from work and from the computer and all that and go and either take a walk outside or go look through the bookstore or something like that um, but it, it really does seem to be taking its toll on me. There's a lot that we've been going through this uh, last week here, a lot of information that I need to kind of process in my head and you know learn about new things that uh, I haven't had a lot of exposure to yet. It's not, it's not the technology. Uh, that's, that, that for me, uh, that's where my comfort zone is. And even if it's something new, whether it's a new piece of software or a new way of presenting something. It, it's not that. It's some of these other ideas. It's ideas of curriculum theory and um, just different concepts that I don't have a lot of real experience with. That it, It's really starting to take a, a toll on me. So I need to do a little bit more work on that and a little bit more work on the fun stuff playing around. Um, I need to read some more articles, read some journals and get caught up with with that sort of information as well. I think that's going to be the hardest part for me over this next little stretch. Today in class we had another uh, guest presenter and he was from the Lethbridge School Board again and he's the Director of Information Technology and so it was really really interesting getting his view on what's changed in his board over the last couple of years because uh, two days ago we actually had that superintendent and so those two work pretty closely together so we heard the same story but from different perspectives and I think that that was uh, really valuable for us to see because uh, that's really exploring the two sides of what we're looking at. We're looking at the information technology and we're also looking at the leadership aspects so um, kudos to our profs for getting those uh, guys in to come and talk to us. One thing that was shared with us today was the results of a survey that we all completed before we came down to Lethbridge. It asked a wide variety of questions about our uh, educational experience, our technical background, where we want to go with our career, our area of expertise and that sort of thing. So it was uh, really neat to see the data that came out of that. Even though we've all gone around the room and shared our stories and I know where I'm from and I know where he's from and what she does and all that, it was, it was neat to see it broken down into the data and we do have a very wide uh, variety of uh, teachers. We have, there's a few of us that are within their first five years of teaching and there's a few that are 20, 25 years plus. And so it's really a dynamic group that we have. Uh, there's such a, such a diversity and I think that that's really been respected amongst all of the teachers in the classroom. Um, even though I am newer to the profession, I do work in a different environment and that's been respected that I have that expertise that that others don't and similarly there are some teachers that have been in the profession for uh, 20 years or more and they're still kind of new to the environment but there's a lot I can learn from them about uh, curriculum or about uh, teaching or about the 
the things that they've gone through and the the roadblocks and the hurdles that they've faced as I'm sure that I will come to face too it's been tiring it's been exhausting it's been invigorating it's been enlightening and it's only been four days uh, I know that I'm not the only one that's feeling this which is uh, a good feeling to know that there's some solidarity between myself and most of the others in my class Coming up next, I've got some research that I need to complete for some of my assignments. We have assignments due later this week, throughout the weekend, and well into next week as well. I also need to plan out some time to work with members of my different groups that I'm in so we can work on our projects. It's been really important to stay organized. I think we're all really feeling that. You see everyone has their Outlook calendar or their Google calendar or their Blackberry or whatever device they have out recording you know dates and times to meet with people and I know that there's lots of meetings going on right now and it's only you know a few hours after class I'm going to keep my chin up I'm going to stay positive I'm going to keep my sense of humor I'm going to keep my wits about me I know that I can get through this it's been tough it's been trying it's been testing but I know that it's worth it. I know that I'm making connections with people, I'm learning skills, I'm being exposed to different things that I would never have the opportunity otherwise. I absolutely know that it's worth it and I know I can make it through the next few weeks. 